Good morning. In Jesus' most famous parable, the parable of the sower, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who went out to sow his seed. And later he says, the seed stands for the word of God. You know, often as we share the word of God with others, we don't see an immediate result and you can become incredibly discouraged. You share the gospel with someone, you share with someone about Jesus, you share someone with someone some truth, and they seem completely unaffected. But I want to encourage you today to remember that seeds take time, and seeds are alive. They have a power in themselves. They'll do it themselves if they're left there. And you know, seeds, once sown in the human heart, will have an effect one way or another. Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is like a sower that is like a farmer that goes out and sows seeds. I pray today that we'll be able to sow seeds in the lives of those around us. Seeds of the gospel, seeds of hope. You know, when you sow seeds, you move some soil, put the seeds in, move it back. It looks exactly the same, but underneath the surface, there's a living, powerful thing that can transform everything that's inside it. That's why it's important we share the good news with faith and with understanding that people don't always instantly be, believe. They don't instantly get born again. They don't instantly get transformed. Sometimes they do. There's a mighty miracle like the Apostle Paul, but even he took a few days. <laughs> Often it takes months and sometimes a couple of years, but the seed is still the seed. Keep sowing it. When we were younger, we used to go out on the high street where we lived and shared the gospel with people on a Friday night. They were going from one pub to another. We, in England, we call them pub crawls because by the end of the night, they're crawling. But, uh, you know, and as the night went on, you get better and better conversations with people because in England, people need to be drunk before they actually open their hearts and speak. And we'd be talking to people about Jesus and challenging them about Jesus and just sharing the good news with them. It was challenging, we were young, it was good fun. And I remember one night in particular, there was a bunch of young girls who'd been out drinking. They were giving us a bit of a hard time. I remembered them in particular and they didn't seem interested at all. They were mocking and laughing and, and after a while they went off and we thought, phew, let's talk to someone else. You know, that Sunday in church, this guy comes up to me and says, were you, were you guys out on the street Friday night sharing about Jesus? I said, yeah, on the high street. He said, do you remember a bunch of girls who came and uh, I said, we sure do. He said, well, one of those girls was my sister and she came home and asked for my Bible. She's been reading it all weekend. I just wanted to encourage you. You see, you never know what God is doing or the good you're doing. But if you don't sow those seeds, then there's no chance of anything happening. On the surface, it looked like those girls weren't interested at all. They walked away and we felt like failed evangelists. But the word of God doesn't fail. It finds a way in and begins to affect the person's life. That girl already had a Christian in her family. There was a Bible at hand and those conversations on the street prompted her to just begin to search. Don't be discouraged. Keep sharing the word of God. The more seeds you sow, the bigger the harvest there'll be in the end. Fact. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for the seeds of the gospel and the seed of the word of God. We thank you that this is how the kingdom of God advances. As farmers go out, sent by the chief farmer, sowing the seed of the word of God in the field of this world. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters listening to this today, that you would fill their bags with seeds, that words would be given them, and that they would go out and sow those seeds and scatter them wherever, trusting you to work on them and to bring the fruit of eternal life and the harvest of salvation. In Jesus' name, amen.